Hey guys, Nick here from Nick's Taxes. Today I'm going to show you how to file your 2020 taxes using H&R Block for free. So if you get value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm just going to do a little tutorial, a little walkthrough. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But I'm just going to go through some simple things uh, to give you guys some more confidence in doing your taxes yourself. Obviously, if you are unsure, if you, you know, you're not certain about what you're doing or if you have a complicated situation, reach out to a tax accountant to help you out. But if you just have a simple return, which is what I'm going to show you, uh, you should be able to file these taxes yourself. So without further ado, uh, we'll walk through this. I'm doing this uh, at the end of January. So to file your taxes, it doesn't start until near the end of February, February 22nd. Uh, but everything should be pretty similar and I'll come up with some more videos showing you how to do some things. So the section here was just showing us um, information. And here we're going to enter in all of our personal information. So make sure you enter your personal information as accurately as possible. So the one thing I want to talk about is your first name and last name, date of birth and sin. It's all very important stuff because you need to make sure that your sin matches your name so if you have like a second name or a nickname use your official name that's connected with your sin for this information okay and then you answer did your name changed and did you have a CRA in my account so I'm just saying my name is Bob for this example but make sure you enter in all that information all right here is where you enter in your current mailing address so make sure you enter this in accurately again street number street name city postal code you also want your phone number and then answer did your address change in 2020 I'm putting no uh, so make sure you do this as accurately as possible. This section you're going to enter where you live, your residency. So make sure you enter as accurate as possible. Where did you live on December 31st? Okay, and then go on and so on and so forth. Are you new to Canada? I'm putting no, but just answer those as accurately as you can and hit continue. I was just going to ask about your marital status and if your marital status changed. This here is your personal information summary. So when you scroll down, you'll be able to see your personal information. Make sure it's accurate. Again, double check for errors, spelling mistakes, input errors, all that kind of stuff before you move on to the next section. Okay, so now we will start entering in our slips. So I'm going to hit uh, continue here. You can see uh, we're adding our slips, then we're going to claim credits, optimize, and then file. So this is the main part here. So here's just a little search function. So you can just type in the slip that you have. Um, Again, all your slips should be available to you online via your CRA My account, maybe mailed to you or whatever. But the most common, we'll see if you're employed, will be a T4. So I'm going to enter a T4, and I'm going to show you how that works. I can click on it. There we go. You can see here there's boxes with numbers, and those boxes are going to correspond with the boxes and numbers that you'll see on your actual T4 slip. So you just match the numbers with the uh, numbers here. So you can put your employer's name here, put the test, put your province, Ontario, employment income, oh, 20,000. You can see when you hover over the boxes too, it tells you what it is, which is similar to what's on the T4. So income tax, I'll say $5,000 so on and so forth. So you're going to match the boxes there. If there's any boxes that you don't see, you can enter them in down here in the additional section or you can add another box. If you want to add another T4, you can just hit add another. If you have multiple T4s, no problem. Then you're going to hit continue. So you can see here my federal slips are being added. So there's T4 and I can add more. For this example, um, the only other one I'm going to show you, because they're all pretty similar in terms of what you do, you just enter in the box or the slip, enter in the box numbers and go from there. But if you had CERB, chances are it was a T4A. So I'll just show you a T4A as an example here, T4A. 
and that pops up and just takes a little bit. So here's our T4A section. So I'll say say SERB. Income tax, I'll say they deducted $100. And we'll say it was in lump sum payment of 2000 I don't know what box numbers the SERB is going to be on, but it'll it'll tell you pretty, pretty easily uh, once you get it. And if you received another one, you can hit add another. What's cool here is you can see in the top left for Bob, federal tax refund, 4459 That updates as we enter in information, which is cool. So I'm going to say I'm done with the slips, and I'm going to hit continue. Next, it's going to want us to claim credits, deductions, and expenses. This obviously lowers the amount of tax that we'll have to pay. So I'm going to hit uh, continue. So this is going through some different credits that we're, we might be able to claim. Employment expenses, self-employment expenses, pension and retirement plans, investments, unused tuition. So one common one might be a pension and retirement plan. So I'll say I'll add this. See what that looks like here. I'm going to hit continue. Shows more commonly claimed deductions and credits. If any of these apply to you, you're going to click on them. So here's that pension plan. So I'm going to say that I had an employer or employee contributions to an RPRPP. I'm going to hit continue. And there we go. This is where you're going to enter in that information. How much did you contribute? I'll say contribute 500. How much exempt income did you contribute? And how much exempt in income did you contribute during that time period? And then how much did your employer contribute? I'll say. So just enter that information there. And that is it. There's some other information here that you might be able to claim. Uh, so just go through and see if you have um, any of these situations apply to you, like child care, foreign incomes, political contributions, all that kind of stuff. But again, I'm just going through a basic example for you guys. So here's some special situations, they call them. So just go through these and see if um, you qualify for any of these. I'm just going through and hitting no. The great thing too, if you're not sure about the questions, you can click that click more question or section here and it'll tell you more information about that question so you have a better understanding how you should be answering. Now the CRA wants to take care of a few things, and so you're going to answer these again. No. Pretty straightforward. If you have CRA My Account, you can enter it in there. No. Tax paid by installments. Nope. Okay, this section here, did you receive any interest payments from the CRA in 2020? You'll know because uh, on your notice of assessment in 2019, uh, it might tell you that you received some interest in 2020. So you'll be able to review that on your notice of assessment. This here, it's going to ask you if you want an expert review for 60 bucks. Trying to upsell, obviously, we're using the free version. Makes sense. We're in the home stretch. So if you're asking me, hey, what about RSP contributions? That would be in the add your slip section here. Um, I obviously skipped over it. 
but that would be in your add your slips. Wrap up and optimize the return. You can do that, and I'm going to hit continue here. Let's optimize your income. Now, it's, again, here it's asking me about RSP claims. It says you entered zero dollars in contributions in your return. Uh, you want to claim the maximum amount of contributions you can claim this year or no. So I'm going to put yes. Let's see what happens here if I put yes. Nothing. So this is just going over our credits. I'm reviewing it. Looks good. Optimized amounts. Now it's asking if you'd prefer not to. I'm going to put no. So I'm claiming a couple different credits that H&R Block is recognizing that I'm eligible for, which is great. Personalize. Again, I think they're trying to upsell here. Now it's going to go through some warnings, some errors. Um, and so you can walk through this information here and you can hit that take me there or ignore if you know you feel like it needs to be ignored but this is very important so here it's recognizing some things on the Trinity or the trillion benefit for Ontario because I put Ontario and then it's also recognizing some RSP information since I didn't put anything in there but you can just hit that take me there and go to that section where it's asking you to fix it but I'm going to hit ignore for now, but let's assume that there is no warnings and we're all clear. You're going to hit continue and then it's going to take you to the review section where you're going to be able to review your summary here, see your refund. You can also preview a PDF version, which I recommend. It's also a good way to keep a copy of your return. Um, so that way you just have a copy in case you need it for whatever reason and then you'll be able to file your return. So uh, once you hit continue, you'll go through a couple more steps, um, making sure you have direct deposit set up if you want to, making sure it's eligible for electronically filing, all that kind of stuff. You're just going to go through the prompts. Very simple. Just follow the questions one by one. File it off. Keep a, keep a copy of that filing confirmation. And then you're done. You're done with your taxes for the year. Obviously, again, as you're going, making sure that Everything that you're putting in is correct. Make sure that you know, you're know you double checking, you're doing your proofreading to make sure your values are accurate and your, your words and stuff are put in properly. And then you're filing it off. And that is how you use H&R Block for 2020. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Give this a thumbs up uh, and let me know if you're using H&R Block. I have a couple other videos on some other softwares. Um, but this is how you use H&R Block and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Nick from Next Taxes and as always, happy taxing.